Okay, so we've got a composite function here, which means we've got two functions working together. And the order the functions go is basically like they line up. So f is first in line because it's next to the bracket. And then g is next after f has done its function. So f is going to be the first function. And then what's going to happen is the output of that is going to go into g. So instead of x, we now have f's function. So let's put the function of f into the function of g. So f is just timesing x by 5, and then g is 3 plus 2 lots of that. So this is the function gf. So let's have a look at that a little bit slower, maybe. So I'm going to do the function f first and leave uh, function g for now. And then I'm going to do function g. Now g, whatever is in here, gets replaced for the x in g. So it's 3 plus 2, but instead of x, it's going to be 5x. So let's expand that. So 3 plus 10x. Now it says that we want to put in the value of 4. So it's going to be 3 plus 10 times 4. 10 times 4 is 40 plus 3 is 43. 